Hi. So, I bet you guys are wondering what happened to part 17 and 18, and uh, why the hell have there been like two videos this whole summer? Um, I want to take a little bit of time to explain. Um, I'll have a jump to when the actual video starts in case you don't want to listen to this shit. So, this video is the last part that I recorded back in January, and since I've been back for the summer, I have not been able to record. And I, excuse me, did not record while I was at school because I was, you know, uh, June, uh, I was a third year computer science major. Um, I had a lot of work, and then when I didn't have work, I was socializing, meeting people, you know, trying to get out. So, pretty much. When I came home for the summer, I was fully expecting to uh, pretty much like have nothing to do like I've like it's been every other summer since I started this channel. Nothing to do, uh, no real obligations, and I was fully prepared to just sit down and you know no life this series and uh, finish it up. Unfortunately, uh, well, I mean fortunately for me, but unfortunately in terms of like you know progress for this channel. What happened was, you know, this is literally the last summer break I'm ever going to have because I'm about to enter my senior year of college and after that, you know, it's it's over. I'm not going to grad school, so it's over. Um, I needed to find either a job or an internship, preferably an internship because I wanted experience in my field and I also needed money. Like, I was destitute this fucking past semester. Like, I've never been so broke in college before. So, I wasn't actually expecting to find a full uh, an internship, let alone a full time internship. At the tops, I was expecting like a part time job at like American Eagle or some shit. Um, but I did end up getting a full time job. Um, but it's not a nine to five; it's actually like a nine to six, Monday to Friday. So every weekday I'm working, and then I go to the gym after work, and then I come home, and it's late, you know, and. I try to unwind from work. I don't always feel, you know, up to par to record or like, you know, particularly humorous. Um, so then on the weekends is usually when I make plans with people um, or I uh, just stay home and like jerk off all day or something. Uh, today in particular, I'm a little bit hungover, so I'm not sure if today would be the best day for me to record anything. Um, but the point is, Okay, the that's pretty much why I haven't been uploading a recording that much. I haven't had time. Legitimately haven't had time. Uh, you know, the few days where I have, like, most of the time I just want to lay in bed all day or, like, play other video games. Um, as for the last two parts, why they're not up, when I was recording this, my friend asked me to have a guest role uh, help uh, co-commentating a world. Um, I said, sure, let's do Halloween Town. But, you know, since the summer started, I haven't been able to coordinate my schedule with him. Uh, there was one day where we were both free to do it, but both of us forgot to message the other person. So, derp. Um, so, instead of making you guys wait fucking indefinitely, since who knows when that shit's gonna actually get done, I decided I was just going to press on. Um, cause, you know, it, it's, I mean, it's Halloween Town, it's a whole world, but, I mean, it's not like, you know, Hollow Bastion Visit 1 or something. So I figured I was just going to skip it for now, upload it when that commentary gets done. As for the future of this series, I do plan to finish it. I can't promise, or I, I rather I refuse to promise that I will get anything done between now and December because historically I have not. And I do apologize for that. I know that I do have fans who have stuck with me despite me becoming a flaky, light-skinned ass nigga ever since I started college, and all of a sudden I can't do shit in a timely fashion anymore. Um, and I want to thank people for their patience, you know? Um, I have been thinking about branching into other video formats just because, you know, um, I, my style of commentary now is different than it was, you know, when I was really blowing up, which was pretty much, uh, between when Cage 2 fm came out and when Birth by Sleep came out. Uh, you know, it's more relaxed, more calmed down, I don't swear that much, you know. So, I realized that if I have a 30 or 40 minute video, 
um, with somebody talking, you know, most of the time in a monotone, it's not that entertaining, you know, and some people do find it entertaining, and I thank you for that, but in my opinion, even watching my own videos, I'm like, this isn't as funny as the stuff from a couple of years ago, so I'm trying to figure out, you know, how to spice things up, but in the meantime, you know, I'm just trying to do my thing, um, get out of school, you know, um, but if I can think of anything to do while I'm up there to at least keep this channel alive and not just like dead for every couple of months that would be great because you know um, I've had this channel since I was fucking 12 I'm about to be 21 in a month you know um, this channel has been a big part of my life for almost half my life you know so um, yeah so I'm gonna I'm sorry for taking up like six minutes of your time but I just you know, I didn't want to make a standalone video because I'm, I'm fucking tired of making those damn standalone videos where I say, like, I'm back for the summer, or I'm going back to school, you know, it's retarded. So, um, I'm going to see if I can maybe record a part at some point, probably next weekend, because, uh, as I said, I, I'm not feeling too hot today. But, yeah, so I just wanted to thank people, you know, who have stuck around for everything, and, uh, yeah, I'm... I don't know if I mentioned this already, but when 2.5 comes out, I'm definitely planning to at least make videos of Birth by Sleep. It might just only be bosses, but uh, we'll see. So yeah, uh, I don't have anything else to say. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a just, uh, I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to transition into. Hello one and all, welcome back to my Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix playthrough, and I believe this time we're going to be leaving Halloween Town and heading over to Neverland. So I've got good news and I've got bad news. The, I'm gonna alternate, so bad news. Today it's January 21st and holy shit, it's snowing everywhere. The good news, I've made it pretty far in this playthrough further than I thought I might have been able to record before having to go back to school. Bad news, I'm definitely not going to be able to finish recording the story by the time um, I go back to school, which uh, it's Tuesday, I go back on Sunday. The reason for this is that while I have too much shit to do, I have a doctor's appointment to schedule, I have to um, wave my, wave some like shit that I got saddled with um, wave as in W-A-I-V-E, um, I have to go to the DMV, I have to do a bunch of shit, basically, and, like, there's not enough time, and I'm not going, I'm not gonna have enough time, like, at home, alone, to be able to record, uh, considering I still have, Neverland is probably gonna take two parts, Hollow Bastion, first visit is gonna take at least two, second visit is gonna take another one, End of the world is going to take two. The final boss might take one of its own. And that's just... I'm not going to be able to. Um, so I'm going to record as much of it as I can. And... Yeah. I'm going to fly back to Travers Town and complete the postcards. See if I can synthesize anything and also go see Geppetto. But yeah, anyway, so... That's the bad news. I'm not going to be able to even finish the story before I go back to school. So I'm going to have to try to spread out my uploads as much as possible until I get the chance to record. The good news is that I'm going to bring my capture card and this game back with me to school. The bad news is I'm probably not going to have time. Um, I'm most likely getting an internship. I'll know tomorrow but I'm the only person that applied for the position, so I think my chances are pretty good. Uh, and I'm going to have to design a website alone. My um, experience with designing websites is from when I was 13 years old, and I made a Pokemon website. So um, I have quite a bit of learning to do, but I'm also very excited to do it. So um, yeah. So I apologize for, uh, first of all, I'm, I'm, I'm going to apologize because I definitely had enough time over the break to record the whole game if I had really tried, but I just, you know, slacked off. 
Oh, also, uh, Geppetto gives you a bunch of uh, gummy ship recipes, or schematics, blueprints. Anyway, there's the last postcard. Um, and I lost my train of thought. Short reach always finishes up a combo attack with a critical, powerful critical blow. I mean, I mean, well, this one has a longer reach, more attack, and uh, deals more critical blows. So I'm gonna stick with Pumpkin King. But yeah, so I mean, what can I say? This isn't the first time I've had to uh, delay a, a playthrough. Besides the fact that I have to edit it at school now, which is gonna be a pain in the ass. But it's whatever. Good. Hmm. I think I'll save my AP for now. <clears throat> why is my, my... I feel like my voice is, like, unusually gravelly, and I don't know why. go mail this bitch. Where the fuck is the last one? Well... I'm just gonna move on. I'm sure I'll find out eventually. Anyway, um, whenever this part is uploaded, I'll tell you that by the time I'm able to come back and complete the story and do the post-game content, it's going to be May. So, hopefully this is uploaded in like Actually, hopefully this isn't o uploaded in April, because that's a really long time to wait. I'd rather upload parts, like, semi-frequently, and then just kind of die off until I can make a comeback. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, also, apologies for having a shitty upload schedule, because my original intent was to have um, one part every other day. But of course that didn't work out, because I got lazy with editing, even though... This is by far, since, like, Black 2, this is the least amount of editing I've had to do. Like, I really don't do shit. I speed up some things sometimes. But, um, the main problem is that since I'm rendering in HD now, videos take up a lot of space one and take up a lot of time to render and upload i've considered uh only uploading in uh, uh 480p but i don't know because the main issue is that i record on i record on one computer and then i put it on, oh my god i put it on my external hard drive so that takes a little bit of time to transfer over, and then I edit it on my desktop computer since, you know, I don't really use it for as many things as my laptop, so I can just leave it doing shit in the background. And also all my presets are there. But, you know, that just adds to the amount of time it takes. I don't like these ships, they're very flat.
<clears throat> what the fuck happened? Don't tell me it's like Monstro or something. Oh, never mind, you get captured. Yo, for a second I thought the game froze, I was like, nah, I'm done. I'm quitting. Anyway, Neverland is a pretty important world. I didn't think you'd come, Sora. <gasps> Good to see you again. Well, where are Donald and Goofy? Are they that important to you? More important than old friends? Instead of worrying about them, you should be asking about her. Kyrie! That's right. While you were off goofing around, I finally found her. Not so fast! No shenanigans aboard my vessel, boy. Riku, why are you siding with the Heartless? The Heartless obey me now, Sora. Now I have nothing to fear. You're stupid! Sooner or later they'll swallow your heart! Not a chance. My heart's too strong. Riku! I've picked up a few other tricks as well. Like this, for instance. <sighs> You can go see your friends now. Ah! Let's get underway already. And keep Sora away from Kairi until we're ready to land. Hmm. That scurvy brat thinks he can order me around. What shall we do, Captain Hook? Nothing! The hold is crawling with heartless. Let them keep an eye on the brats. But, Captain, you know who is also down. Shh! Did you hear that, me? Oh, that dreadful sound. No, Captain. Are you quite sure? You and I don't care about this scene anymore. I still love Sora, though. You're stupid. I'm like, that's true. You don't say. Yeah, it was definitely Kyrie. I finally found her. All right. <laughs> Yep. Well, let's go up and talk to her. Yeah. Sounds great. Okay, but first, how about your mouth? Oh, <laughs> sorry. His mouth didn't move. <clears throat> how you doing there? Looking for a way out? My son, Peter Pan. Who are you? I'm the answer to your prayers. That's a little bit sus. Okay then. Fine. Have it your way. But you're stuck in here. Nah, I'm gonna skip this. Alright, Peter Pan. He's actually a pretty youthful party member. I... Should I add him? Not right now. But yo, throw me some items though. Hey, look, an AP up. <laughs> Beautiful. Anyway, if the camera would move. Alright. Just in case there are any um, Trinities, I don't want to miss them. And I can't fly yet. Oh god! Alright, and we have anti sores or shadow sores now. The ones without features are anti sore or shadow sores, and the boss is anti sore. I 
I'm not sure if um, the Shadow Soros are heartless or what, but um, one appears in every area where they're heartless. Fucking Sora, what a slut, so desperate to ride the pole. Anyway, Jesus. I like this Keyblade. The range is ridiculous. And I like the uh, orchestrated version of um, the battle theme here. I don't have Yellow Trinity yet. Double bullshit. Jesus. Oh fuck, that was an accident. Not like I can immediately leave. He, he was definitely dancing. Anyway, these guys are basically just rehashes of the Sword Heartless from, um, Agrabah. I still don't have Counter Guard, I'm really upset. Oh, damn. see what was in the other direction. No, I have to go out through the door. The only door. I'm blocked off. I'm derping. I'm derping hard. I'm gonna freely admit that. My ear suddenly hurts. Get off the. Alright. <clears throat> I'm sorry if I'm a little bit like emotionless this part. I don't really uh, have anything to say. So, how come you can fly? Because you's a bitch. Anyone can fly. Now I can fly. That's obvious. There are seven, supposedly. And Maleficent says she's not one of them. Hoist anchor as soon as possible. Leave all the dead weight behind, including her. After the trouble of capturing her? And why those seven? What is Maleficent planning anyway? Who knows? As long as it means getting Kyrie's heart back, I couldn't care less. Damn. <laughs> He's one. He's uh, single-minded in his thirst. I'll stake the other hand. It's lost forever. I will find it, no matter what. Captain. What? The prisoners have escaped. What's more, Peter Pan is with them. Blast that Peter Pan! All right then. Bring the hostage to me cabin, Smee. Hop to it. Man, Ryu was a huge asshole in this game. I didn't even realize. Peter? Peter Pan? Wendy! Please, hurry! The pirates are coming! What? I'll be right up there. Just hold on! Why not just cut through these ropes? Wendy? They yes. look like ropes. Is there another girl in there with you? Oh, why, yes. But she seems to be asleep. She hasn't budged an inch. Kyrie? Uh. 
Now, why is that happening? Well, if you don't really don't know the story, Sora is currently in possession of something of Kyrie's. Something important. And Kyrie, for the first time in a while, was close enough to that something to be able to have a physical reaction. Yo, why can't I move the fucking camera? They said we improved the camera. I still can't move it in this room. Oh my god. I need to get better reflexes. Fuck. Perfection. Yo, these these Soras drop like really good items. It's a shame they stop appearing after a while. Alright, I'm a little bit confused. I'm gonna be 100% honest. go back here, or... Like, do I fuck myself? I don't know. I'm completely missing something, that's obvious. If I could jump on the ladder, that'd be 100% perfect. Oh god. with that work. Strapped up with that Nia. This leads me to advance the story. I want to go into the other one and see what treasures there are. Uh... Wow. <laughs> the anti-climax is high. I'm gonna throw some Peter Pan in my party. Uh, over Donald, I guess. This boss fight, when I was younger, this one was a little bit of a difficult one for me. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Never mind, I'm dumb. I still need Donald for the Trinity. because Donald is going to be kind of useless here. Like, yeah, he can heal, but I already know he's just going to, like, die. Plus, look at, look at these critical pluses. My son Peter Pan said, I'm doing nothing with critical hits. Maybe I sh should have picked a different limit from strike rate, but it's too late. There's no time for regrets. Riku, wait! Nope. Deuces. Anyway, um, 
Kong is basically an exact shadow clone of Sora, but uh, he's pretty strong, and I'm not getting tech points from guarding his attack, so that's pretty sus. Yeah, when he disappears completely into the ground, he's going to do an uppercut, and that move is pretty annoying. Fuck. I'm sucking pretty hard. There we go. Good tech points. Good. Yo, Peter Pan, can you stop? Best party member. I mean, granted, it makes sense considering the uh, optional boss in his world, but yeah. And Peter Pan's dead. Worst party member. I hate how he just strolls. Like nothing's wrong. I love how a fucking strike rate never appears when I need it to. Every time I expect it to be selectable, I press triangle and nothing happens. Then I get hit. Then I look stupid. And that's really what it boils down to. I hate looking stupid. I'm pretty dumb. Pretty dumb. For the love of God. thank you. Fuck. Holy fucking shit, I'm going to kill myself. Like, don't worry about it. I'll do your job for you. Speaking of, where's Kira? There we go. Hey, second chance. And Goofy learned it at exactly the same time. It's a little bit weird. Raven's Claw. I'll take your claw, Raven. Alright, second chance is an absolute must. I don't think you get once more in this game, so yeah. I'm gonna keep Strike Raid. I am going to... not be able to equip this move. <laughs> On either of my other party members, or well, this guy only has second wind, not second chance. Yeah, where the fuck do I get Kira? I know you get Kiraga in Hollow Bastion Visit 2, but I'm just like, yo, hold on. Something's... something's off. I'm 
a treasure hunter. Well, that's rude. What else did I want to do? Wait a sec, what's down here? Story. Wendy. Come on, Tink. Not now. Well, this is as far as I can go. I gotta help Wendy. No, oh, fuck yourself. Botera chain. All right. Was here before. Hold up. Hold up. I was here. I came out. And there's no hole there. This just leads to the other safe point? Factual. Which in turn just leads back to Hook's place. So logically, I have to go here. Logically, I have to go here. I don't know where I'm going. Fuck. Wait, I have to go back to Hook's cabin. I'm the fucking lad. Get in the fucking robot, Sora. All right. Nah. Deuces. Quite accomplished. Ah, here we go. Running off with that girl without even saying goodbye. Run off where? Tell me. Where did he go? To the ruins of Hollow Bastion. Why would you tell him? Why would you tell him? But you won't be going there. <gasps> Unless you intend to leave. Not my friend that I've known for five minutes. Dolan and Goofy are just standing there doing literally nothing. Fly, Sora. Just believe, and you can do it. Yo, he was fucking. He was literally half a second away from becoming just an upper body. Thanks, Peter. Hey, don't mention it. You didn't think I'd leave you and Tink behind, did you?
Yes. You already know I'm throwing some Peter Pan in my life. So the flying mechanics are basically the swimming mechanics. Yo, like, is Peter Pan's stop ability new? Because I don't remember him ever using that. You can just fly around, have a real good time. There's a white trinity. It's good to remember. wrecks his life. It's especially fun fighting them later when you have more MP in the Hades Cup. Is that you, Smee? Did you finish them off? Aye, Captain. They walked the plane. Every last one of them. Yeah, Peter Pan! Lost you! Ready to make a splash, you codfish? Now it's your turn to walk the plank. And now we have a boss fight. And he summons those ship heartless some more. That's gonna be a little bit annoying. Kinda of fucked up. Oh my god. I'm at least taking out your cannons, because you're being a piece of shit. I'm out of MP. Damn it. Listen to you. Yo, my my dumbass was just like, it's fine, I'll just guard it. Oh wait. This is the dumbest boss fight in the world. I'm over here like trying to pick up items and shit. I have to say, I admire his fencing form. Oh shit!
guys. I'm doing pretty badly. I don't know if you noticed. Yo, I'm getting tired of the- Yo, why is this nigga so good at sword fighting? Stop on this nigga? I'm not gonna do it. Yes, leave bracer. Best bracer. Slipping. Slip levels maximum. No, I was fucking slipping that entire fight. You saw how many items I used? I'm on standard. I, sh I, I suck. <sighs> I am depressed. Ars Arcanum! Yo, Ars Arcanum in this game is so... Amazing. Excuse me. Oh, Kyrie couldn't wake up, so maybe she's really lost her. Dumbass goofy. Sora, I still can't believe it. It really flew. Wait till I tell Kyrie. Dumbass what Sora. Probably not. Just like, oh well, you, can bring her you know, to she has no heart, then but uh, hey, you know, I can still talk to her can empty you shell. Me? You can do anything, right? I'll find Kyrie. I know I will. There's so much I want to tell her about flying, the pirates, and everything else that's happening. What's that thing? What about the clock tower? You say there's something there. London. That's your hint. That's your hint if you still didn't get it. Anyway, uh, there's a treasure chest here. And uh, there's a save point on one of these sides. And then there's also some like thing here where um, Every hour of the day, a new door opens and you can get an item. Which I think is pretty cool. So it's this face.
Would've been cool if the whole face of the clock became the keyhole, but instead it's like this little puny thing. I think, right? Yeah, stupid. You had all this space to work with. And then meanwhile, Halloween Town's keyhole is a giant thing on the ground for no reason. He had to reflect it off the moon to seal it. But I do like how every keyhole has a different design. And I finally got the Navi G piece that uh, matches the one from Agrabah. There was a Navi G there, right? Regardless, I finally have one part of a set. The second part of a set. Hey, new scene. I wonder why. Why did it flash? Is that supposed to happen? It was reckless to bring her here without at least using a vessel. Remember, relying too heavily on the dark powers could cost you your heart. A castaway. world perished, his heart did not. When we took the princess from his castle, he apparently followed her here through sheer force of will. But fear That's not. That's some fucking hot-blooded anime no shit. He is no match for your power. That's obvious. The power? Yes. The untapped power that lies within you. It's time you awakened that power and realized your full potential. Things are about to get sus. <laughs> the look on his face right at the end. Yo, <laughs> what? <laughs> like I said, things are getting sus. I'm gonna skip this. Oh yeah, Tinkerbell. That's a good one. Glide! I forgot about Glide. Yo, Glide is the best Glide. Except not really, the best Glide is Super Glide. Yes. Best Arcanum. Uh, Fairy Harp is just... Short. Really short. I'm gonna keep this. For now. And I need to go unlock the water gleam so I can get Dumbo. I don't remember... I don't remember when I got it, but I know that I still haven't uh, unlocked him. Anyway, uh, I thank you all for watching. This part ran kinda long. But, yeah. So, thank you for watching, and next time we're gonna be... Probably, I think uh, the Pegasus Cup opens up, so we're going to do that, and then we are going to head over to Hollow Bastion, where the plot gets pretty serious. So, see you next time.